Hello, I'm Martha the Crafty Redhead. I just sealed my painting. Let me walk you through the process. Today I'm going to show you how to varnish and seal the paintings that I made. The first step is to wash your painting thoroughly to get rid of all the residue and contaminants you might have on it. Especially if you use silicone or Floetrol to mix your paints. The method I prefer is just water and a few drops of Dawn in a bowl. There's other methods you can use. Some people use Lysol wipes, other people use baby wipes. It's just preference. I'm going to show you really quickly how I prepare the water to clean the painting. This is just regular faucet water. I put a couple of drops of Dawn. It goes a long way. What I'm going to be using is this little cloth. You could get it at any dollar store. There are about four or six in a pack. They work really well. You just soak it. Make sure you wring it out really well. You don't want it. have tons of water on it. and now you're ready to clean your painting. Get it, and I always do side to side. I don't do circles, I don't, you tend to just side to side and don't forget the edges. I do several passes just to make sure I get everything off. Especially since I use silicone in this painting, you don't want any of that residue to come up and make your painting crack or bubble. I usually take a dry one and just do a soft pass over it just to help it dry a little quicker. At this point, you should be able to start varnishing. Just like everything, there's different types of varnishes, but just like anything, it's what you prefer. I've tried different ones and I prefer Liquitex. The reason I do is this one doesn't yellow or crack. I use Minwax Polycrylic and after time, it tends to yellow and crack. I don't know if it happens to everybody, but it's happened to me. This is why I use Liquitex. You can find Liquitex in all your art supply stores. Added a link in the description below for Amazon. What I do to spread the varnish is use a regular car sponge wrapped in a pantyhose. I'm going to show you really quick how to prepare your sponge to do the varnish. It's a regular car sponge you buy to wash your car and a regular pantyhose I got them both at Dollar Store, so it's not that expensive. You just wrap your sponge with the pantyhose. It tends to be a little bit tight, but it'll stretch out. See, it wasn't too bad, was it? Now you have it ready. I just make a little knot at the edge, or you could always cut it off and make it smaller so it doesn't dangle in your painting. I learned this technique from Molly for Molly's Artistry. Thank you, Molly, for the tip. It tends not to leave any streaks like if you use a paintbrush or different type of method. So now you apply the acrylic right onto the painting. Get the sponge and also once again you do it side to side. Take your time, you're not in a rush, it won't dry immediately.
you're gonna need to use a few coats. Once again, don't forget the edges. You need to have it all sealed. I think I might have put a little bit too much, but it's okay. So I tend to put the sponge in a Ziploc so it doesn't dry out because you can use it more than once. When it gets, if you start to see color on it, you can just change the pantyhose and you have a brand new sponge. At this point, you let it dry for about an hour or so. Then you can apply a second coat. You'll probably need two or three coats, depending on how you want it to look. If you like this video, please push the subscribe button below. Next week, I will be making a kaleidoscope colander pour. Thank you, I'm the Crafty Redhead. Don't forget to let your inner crafter out.